Okay, so one of the most important things I think to making a record before actually recording is thinking about arrangement and how you'd like things to sound and get an idea of the different elements and what the tonality and texture of things is going to sound like and then decide how you're going to capture that and the best way to capture that is with a microphone and mic placement so the sound that you hear in your head you know you want to approximate it with a good choice of microphone and how you place it so I wanted to go over the very basics of mic placement and mic choice in terms of mic choices we have tons of opportunity many choices uh, to capture things however we like um, and so microphones come in a few different categories or build styles and they can be broken down into further categories but what we're going to go over today are dynamic microphones ribbon microphones condenser microphones and talk about how they sound and how they get placed yo what's up okay so we are trying a bunch of miking techniques with the SM57 a true classic we're going to be off the cabinet and then on the cabinet in different positions. Um, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and moved the SM57 directly onto the cabinet, and we find the cone. Which is about here, and we mic it directly, head on. recording. It's an example of off-axis recording with the SM57. And the, as you can see, we are more than 45 degrees off-axis. We're not hitting the diaphragm directly, and that is going to definitely change the tone. <laughs> So now we are close miking with ribbons. This is the Sand Hill 6011A, about six inches from the cone. <laughs> Let's see if moving the microphone on and off axis makes a difference. 